Hey Beckett. What's what's my car's name? Penelope. Do you like Penelope? Yeah. Yeah? Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Penelope is a cool little car. It's a cool little car? Alright. On this mileage unknown, we are going to take a look at a barn find that uh, the mileage is actually very well documented on. So we actually know the mileage on this one. I'm going to call it a barn find even though it spent probably 20 years sitting in a carport. The last time this car actually ran and drove was in 1995 before uh, the owner parked it because the, the fuel line under the gas tank had started to leak. So, if you take a look, we had actually, I, I bought this one a couple months ago and haven't got it driving just yet. It is a 1966 Volkswagen Fastback. It's a Type 3. I've actually owned Squarebacks, Fastbacks, and Notchbacks. And this one, hands down, is the most original Fastback I have ever owned. I mean, there's just evidence of cool stuff all over the place. There's... There's stickers throughout the car. There's actually maintenance stickers we'll take a look at under the hood. It's all original paint. So far, the only thing we've done is do the fuel lines and actually get it started. We have worked on the brakes, which is something we'll make another short video here and see if we can actually get this thing to stop. That's The brakes have been uh, the bane of our existence, really trying to get these things bled out. But other cool stuff that was in the car it still has we still have the original trunk mat over there it's a little worse for wear uh, something really cool was the owner had a sending unit that he had purchased in 1988 and sat in the car until i got it and when we had the gas tank cleaned out we ended up using that that fuel sender there's stickers from the car getting tires from jc penny when was the last time jc penny sold tires um the car's pretty straight other than some of the chrome is pretty beat up for sitting for the last 20 years in a carport um, the bumper the bumpers are pretty good except for somebody hooked this one up and put some dents in the front bumper the interior is actually in pretty good shape but it is it is definitely crispy I don't know if you can hear that at least all the foam and padding is pretty crispy but I think I'm going to try and have somebody pull the covers off, re put new padding in, and actually save those seat covers because it's just that original, that cool. Like I said, if you look down the side, you can see all the door dings from the car sitting in a carport. But I think we're actually even going to at some point just try and buff the crap out of this paint and see how good we can make it look. We'll take a look at the, uh, the engine, which is... The engine compartment itself, all the matting's still there, just needs a really good clean and glued back up. And something really cool on this one is it actually has AC, which I hope at some point we'll be able to make work. I don't know, that might be a bit of a pipe dream. I know uh, when we were working on the brakes, the condenser up front made it a little difficult for some of the brake work. Also pretty cool, there is stickers from the original dealership maintaining the car from 67 and in this car i found probably the coolest thing i've ever found in a old car we actually found in the sun visor the original purchase order from morganson motors here in arizona all handwritten the car was originally 2243 dollars the freight and prep was $58, leatherette interior was $30, white walls $35, seat belts made me laugh $17.95, a lighter $5, and refrigeration $420. After all the tax and title, the car came to $29.60.11, and that was in $620.66. Something else I thought was pretty interesting was the warranty on the back basically says the car has a six month, 6,000 mile warranty. If manufacturers pulled that today, no one would be happy with that one. I actually think that is one of the coolest things I've ever found in an old car. Um, I actually have talked to the owner's son about the car. He, he took it to Texas probably in 
88, 89, and then it came back to Arizona in 95 where it sat up until the point I bought it at auction. So to me, it's it's a bar find, barn find, but you know, it, it sat in a carport for a whole lot of years. Um, but that's our 66 Fastback. We're gonna work on the brakes and make a little video about that. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below.